in the previous videos of the listeriosis series, we discussed about the risk factors and uh, this was the introduction about what is listeria bacteria and what is listeriosis, you know. And, but in the today's topic, I'm going to discuss what are the symptoms and the signs of the listeriosis or the listeria infection. And, but before that, I would like to request you to subscribe to this channel for more informative videos every day. Now, fever, uh, muscle aches, and occasionally gastroenteritis, which means nausea and vomiting and diarrhea, are the usual symptoms associated with the listeriosis. And the, some individuals may experience fatigue and uh, decreased or loss of appetite, you know. Now, these symptoms usually last up to one week and uh, then uh, and decrease or the loss of appetite uh, can may stay a bit longer, you know. And uh, they spontaneously resolve on their own. However, in some people, the organisms can spread to the brain. And the symptoms of meningitis are the encephalitis, which means stiff neck, headache, and the fever. It may appear, you know. And uh, including altered mental state, which means confusion or reduced mental alertness, you know, uh, activity, you know. Now, the loss of balance problems and the seizures, which are also known as the convergence, uh, may develop. Uh, in the brain infection, in case of brain infections, you know. And the brain abscesses may also occur and cause similar symptoms. Now, the next thing is what are the incubation period uh, for the listeria bacteria? Now, the incubation period is between uh, exposure and the symptoms is quite uh, variable and uh, it's 3 to 70 days uh, with 21 days on average, you know. And uh, it may extend up to uh, about two months or more, uh, according to some reports, you know. Uh, the pregnant women who are otherwise uh, healthy have only minor symptoms. However, uh, being infected with the listeria bacteria during pregnancy often cause problems for the fetus, uh, which may include like miscarriage or stillbirth or premature birth or uh, cause of infection, you know are potentially death of the newborn baby. Now the breastfeeding in the humans has not been shown uh, to transmit the bacteria to the newborns. Uh, the next question is for how long this bacteria last? Uh, this bacteria infection last you? Now normally the healthy people who become infected with the listeria bacteria usually recover from the infection on their own, you know. And uh, the more serious infections that require antibiotic treatment may last longer, you know. And for example, if uh, the abscess develops in the brain, you know, uh, the antibiotic therapy will require for about six weeks. So it is kind of uh, more time needed, you know. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, in the next video, we will talk about what type of the doctors treat uh, listeriosis. Uh, and uh, what are the treatment, what's diagnosed, then what are the treatment options and how it's diagnosed to you. Thank you very much. Keep watching. Goodbye.